Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Center. coming to you live, live from Asia, guys. Great time to be live. We're going to be talking about a huge, huge, huge stuff is happening this week, guys. So this could impact, this could affect the crypto market, could affect Bitcoin, could affect Dogecoin, could affect you out there, guys. So we're going to jump into what all of that is. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin, Bitcoin, what the heck is going on, and uh, when is this whole sideways accumulation garbage going to finish, and when are we going to start to see the actual bull run happening? Like, uh, like we're sitting, waiting, waiting uh, on the sidelines here uh, out there so from my perspective don't freaking panic guys i'm adjusting the camera i'm adjusting the camera there we go see the seat on my head guys don't forget to go down there and uh subscribe subscribe why be why be and don't forget to smash the likes guys so let's jump into the content without any further delay yay yay happy happy monday happy sunday happy whatever day uh it's monday morning here in asia guys it is uh yeah the start of the week here go back and watch all the other videos and not financial advice guys so yesterday we did see that the much of the broader markets were down did it down down not big news out there guys so this week we have some major 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 stuff happening uh out there uh, coming from the fed uh monday nothing scheduled Tuesday we got uh, we got uh, NFIB optimism index we got uh, consumer price index CPI uh, happening on Wednesday so that is pretty good uh, and then we got to 2:30 it looks like we're going to see the uh, month FOMC interest rate decision so hopefully hopefully by Wednesday we'll start to see things coming down now I'm going to be overseas uh, uh, in Bangkok. Uh, in Bangkok uh, tomorrow. So if anybody's in Bangkok, uh, you guys can uh, DM me and uh, we'll get, get together a copy. So uh, Thursday, we got jobless claims uh, out there happening. We got PPI, core PPI uh, happening. So we got CPI, PPI, uh, we, got, we got jobless claims. We got import price, so big, big stuff happening, guys. So, but the key, the key thing is uh, the rate, the rate cuts, guys. So we got rate cuts happening. Hopefully, hopefully, we get some rate cuts, guys, uh, and hopefully, because we really kind of need the markets to kind of turn around, right? So we're just kind of, kind of in the doldrums right now, and things are going sideways. So when the freak is this bull run going to actually happen, guys? So, uh, I mean, I'm, I, I'm personally forecasting we're going to start to see the, the fireworks, the fireworks, the freaking fireworks are not, like, that's confetti, right? fireworks like this yeah we're gonna start seeing the fireworks happening probably uh, uh september october so that's when we can expect that happening so right now we're seeing that uh, the crypto markets uh, are, are kind of like flat right uh, luckily we're in positive territory i mean i'm not gonna tell you oh yeah it's going up oh yeah it's going down because i don't freaking know right now i don't think anybody knows all i know is that on the shorter time frame we're going to be seeing accumulation city uh, like a like a like a wet kitty out there. Accumulation City, it's wet kitty. Oh, yeah, I digress. I digress. Sorry, my voice is still my my voice is still freaked up because I don't know what's going on. But uh, this whole sinuses and uh, it, it's nasty. It's gnarly. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're going up. We're going down. I mean, we are seeing like Brett a lot of the a lot. Oh, we're seeing a lot of the a lot of the smaller uh, altcoins are gone up. So that is pretty good. Uh, you can see here that uh, you know some Doge is up, but like it's like neutral, right? Like daily, weekly. Eh. You know, we're seeing a lot of not good stuff right now when it comes to crypto right now. Uh, but this is normal, guys. This is just part and part of the accumulation. Uh, but luckily, we are seeing that the market cap is up 0.42%, uh, 2.54 trillion. So like I said, it's just kind of like anybody's guess. Uh, Solana's, Solana's coming back. That's good. XRP is up 1%. Uh, Doge is doing its things below 15, below 17. I tell you, it's getting real freaking boring right now for crypto. Uh, and remember, May, uh, June, sorry, June, May and June often are a poo amount of month out there. But overall, we're seeing a Q1, we pumped, uh, Ethereum pumped like 59.6%. Uh, Q2, yeah, 1.58%. Uh, Biddy, itty, Biddy Baby is down right now, uh, Q2. But overall, uh, June, we're still up 3%. So that's positive. Uh, what's going on with leverage apozoids? <laughs> the apozoids. So we're seeing basically the leverage is kind of balanced, right? Uh, 22 uh, million on the longs, 19.25 on the shorts. So get ready. Wednesday, remember Wednesday is what is usually reversal day of market makers. Uh, that's Wednesday, my time. That's Tuesday, your time, right? Uh, so probably I'm thinking that this whole, the whole Fed chair thing, I think that this could be a decisive uh, decisive area where the market manipulators they will 
have hunter wicks either to the upside to the downside to uh, wreck uh, a lot of the leverage out there so that kind of really depends on if the leverage traders are learned their lesson or not but we could see i think we could see a reversal coming guys so that's what i'm thinking good news balance as i said and i keep saying i will keep saying is going down dee, 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 down down that is freaking awesome that is freaking fantastical out there uh because it's supply and demand right when you have less when you have less bitcoin on exchanges and the demand goes up well that can only mean one thing the price is going to go up right like 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 go figure like go figure uh the price definitely going to be going up okay so that's what's happening it and you know like i said we're seeing more institutions aping in to crypto vis-a-vis -vis, uh vis-a-vis -vis the uh the bitcoin spot etf so that's what's going on guys that's what that's what's going on so yeah my camera's weird. Keep zooming up on my face. Hopefully, I'm not scaring the kids out there. Hopefully, I'm not scaring the kids out there, guys. Uh, but keep zooming up on my face uh, out there. So that's good. Uh, what else we got coming in? Uh, yeah, Bitcoin address activity surges, indicating a potential bull run. So that is good. Uh, the number of daily active Bitcoin addresses has broken a downtrend that began on March 5th. In the past 24 hours, 765,480. Bitcoin addresses were active. This surge in network activity is seen as a positive sign for continuation of the Bitcoin bull run, according to Ali Morantz. So that's his chart right here. And you can see that the active addresses, uh, it's been going down, but we had a nice pump, guys. So that is pretty good. That is good, good, good. Uh, uh, this is good. Uh, what's going on for Bitcoin right now? Yeah, bitty, bitty, itty, bitty. It's still just kind of hovering. Uh, it's at the support level here. You know, at 69, 69.2, that's good. As long as we stay above there, uh, we need to get back up here. I mean, come on, what's going on? We just need to like get past the previous all time high of 73.5, right? Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Uh, whales are accumulating Bitcoin as market shows signs recovery. Bitcoin fluctuated around 70,000. We saw that with less weekend volatility. So yeah, it was kind of quiet, right? Whale, accumula whale accumulation indicates a renewed sense of recovery. Over 1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin was withdrawn from exchanges last week. That is good. Exchange supply going down, scarcity going up, guys. So this from Ali again. I love my Ali. Alley in the house, the next potential local top for Bitcoin could be around 89,002. So that's going to be our next local top, next local resistance. Once we get past the previous all time high, where are you? Where do you got chart? Get out of here. Uh, once we get past the previous all time high, guys. So yeah, we're getting there. We're on the way. We're on the way, guys. Ethereum doing its thing sideways, crabby walk, boring. Blah, blah. Uh, okay, let's talk about those. Let's talk about the, let's talk about the, uh, the, you know, the, you know, the obvious. Right now, Doge is boring. It kind of stinks, but, 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 this is a good time to accumulate, guys. It seriously is. It's good, guys. Uh, I mean, if we go back to where we were previously, before we had this dumpski, wumpski, wumpski, you, you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna, you're gonna make 11%. So, you know, huddle, wait, flight change one. Guys, get the Nile Ledger. It's down there. Get it, get it. Uh, Dogecoin gets new trading pair on major U.S. crypto exchange. That's good. So it looks like Doge uh, Kraken Pro uh, basically has announced a listing of new trading pair Doge GB GBP. That's UK pounds. In case you don't know what you, what it is, and Doge Aust uh, Australia dollar. So that is good, guys. That is good. Uh, Dogecoin will do this. Absolutely, we're going to do this. You know, we're going to go up. We're going to retest. Go up. It's inevitable, guys. It's inevitable out there. I asked the Grokster. Uh, when will Dogecoin hit one dollar? And the Grokster said, "When? When will Dogecoin hit one dollar?" Well, the million dollar question. Tell me about it, or should I say the hundred forty two billion dollar question concerning Doge's current market cap? Ha ha ha! Grok has got a sense of humor. According to the snippets, there is a wide range of prediction from when Dogecoin might reach one dollar. Some sources suggest it could happen as early as two thousand twenty five. That's my opinion. While others think it might take uh, until 2031 or even later. It's the, like asking when your favorite meme coin will become a billionaire. Doge's price uh, is influenced by a number of factors. You guys all know that. Market sentiment, adoption, and whims of crypto community. It's a bit like trying to predict the weather on Mars, okay? It's possibly it's possible, but, but also unpredictable. Mars, okay. So while we, can, we can't give you a definite answer, uh, we can say that Dogecoin, Dogecoin, 
uh, reaching one dollar is definitely within the realm of possibility. Okay, so Gawk is saying it's possible. Just remember, invest in crypto is like a roller coaster. It can be accelerating, but also can be a wild ride, guys. So never invest more than you're willing to lose. Out there, guys. Smash the likes. Subscribe. Why be? Why be? Why be? Subscribe. Get it. Get it. Uh, yeah, currently, uh, whales holding about 44.44% of all Dogecoin holders. Uh, 43. My bad. Type up. Type up. Out there, guys. So that's cool. Guys, all you got to do is all you need to know, repost if you believe in Doge, buy and haul, just Doge it. Okay? Just freaking Doge it. That's all you got to do. Doge it. Uh, yeah, mean coin market cap is up 58 bill. Learn out there. And uh, yeah, Doge is doing its Doge, right? Right? Uh, what do you got? Uh, we got 80% of the Dogers in the money right now. And yeah, ship is doing its thing. So that's kind of all, all I got, guys. Oh, here we go. I'm, I'm going to post this. So if you go to. Uh, if you go to X, Twitter, you, go, you can watch it. All right, guys. So it's a great time to be alive. Let me uh, let me put that on top. Let me pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it. So overall, I'm happy. Doge is going to do that. Guys, go follow me over here. I appreciate it. Uh, much lovey, lovey, lovey to the community. I'm off to the granny grind. And then tomorrow, I'm in Bangkok. Let's get it, guys. I appreciate it. Peace out.